In this tutorial, I'm showing you how to integrate your Pano CMS project into your Car Pano project. And it's an easy process. I've opened the text tutorial how to integrate Pano CMS in your Car Pano Panorama, and we are going to follow the single steps. In the first step, we have to open the index.html file of the Car Pano project. In our example, it is called index Mittelpunkt, and I open it in an editor. In my case, it is Coda for Mac. In the header, which is this part of the code, we have to write this code snippet to include the CSS file and the JavaScript file of Pano CMS into our index file. For this, we can copy this code directly from our tutorial. I copy this code with Command and C. If you are on a Windows computer, you may use Ctrl and C and put it in here with Command and V. And that was our first step. For the second step, it is important to set the V mode to transparent. This has to be done in the part where the panorama is embedded which is here in our case. And now our second step is done. For the third step, we have to put in this code snippet from the tutorial into our HTML file. It is our Pano CMS div tag and we have to set the target of this div tag to the same value as the car Pano div tag is. Again, I copy and paste it. Be sure to set here the same value as the div ID of the Carpano div tag. And that's it. Everything is done now in this index file. In step 4 of the tutorial, you will get an overview over all the changes so we can compare them again. We can save and close the index file now. The next step in this tutorial is about the creating of the Pano CMS project. That we have done in an extra video. What we need now is the Car Pano plugin for the Pano CMS. To download that, we just need to click on this button in the navigation bar. The download starts automatically. Now we put these downloaded files and upload them to the plugins in our Carpano project. I do that by drag and drop. If that doesn't work, you could upload it per FTP. In the seventh step of our tutorial, we include the plugin in the tour XML file of our Carapano project. In our example, the tour XML file is called tour middlepunkt, and that we open now. What we need now is the code with the exactly identifier for the Pano CMS project and the identifier for the scene we wish to include. The basic code is this one, but we don't take it from the tutorial because it is without the identifiers. Instead of that, we take it directly from every scene in Pano CMS. Under each scene, we find a code like this example, but with the right identifiers. And from there, we can copy it and paste it into our XML file. So, we have to go to our project to the scene we've already created with a welcome text and underneath we find our ready to copy code with the right identifier this one for the scene and this one for the whole project when we change the scene we can see that the first identifier is changing while the second is staying unchanged no matter in which scene you are that is the one for the project. Okay, we are in scene 1 now and we copy our code 
to include that scene into our XML file. There I insert it in the Carpano scene, Eingang, entrance. It doesn't matter where you put it in. I do that just before the part with the hotspots. So now save the project. And let's open our panorama to see if it works. As we see, it has worked. It's that easy to put a Pano CMS project to a panorama. The further processing of the content is carried out in Pano CMS. And how that works, I show you in the next video.